Top 10 Cheapest Street Legal Motorcycles of 2017 It's been almost three years to the day since we posted the 10 cheapest bikes of 2014, and, my, has the landscape changed since then. So much so that we thought it necessary to update the list for 2017. Generally speaking, cheap bikes have gone small. Partially due to the uptick in 125cc play bikes sparked by the Honda Grom, but also due to the proliferation of Chinese motorcycles all powered by little engines. Those two clues should give you an idea of the kind of bikes you'll see in the coming pages. 10. SSR Snake Eyes, China, $3,159 We have yet to ride the Snake Eyes but it looks like a machine dreamed up by greasers of yesteryear, not that that's a bad thing. As far as style points go, it's definitely one of the cooler looking bikes on this list, with its spoked wheels, solo saddle, and fuel tank mimicking a hand-built unit made in a buddy's garage. The trellis swing got ermined exhaust exiting from under the engine look trick, too and based on our impressions of other SSR models we've ridden, it should be of decent build quality for a Chinese motorcycle. Power comes from a 250cc air-cooled single, with a carburetor and 5-speed transmission. SSR claims it makes 19 horsepower. 9. SSR XF250, China, $3,059. Another from the SSR family. The XF250 is available in both dual sport and street trims, varying only in their wheel, tire fitments and color. What you see above is the dual sport version, with its 18-inch front, 17-inch rear wheels and knobby tires. The street version gets 17s at both ends and appropriate tires. Power comes from the same 250cc air-cooled, carbureted single used in the snake eyes though their applications couldn't be any more different. SSR claims fuel mileage from its 2.6 gallons at a rather impressive 75 miles per gallon. 8. Sim Wolf Classic 150, Taiwan, $2,999 One of the few holdovers from our 2014 list that still made the cut, the Sim Wolf Classic looks, well, classic in its simple and modest design. That little single sitting in the middle of the bike displaces only 150cc, making it freeway legal, but only just. Sim says peak power is 14.75 horses and top speed is 65.5 miles per hour, meaning, sure, you could go on the highway, but in reality you probably shouldn't be on it for very long. At least Sim says the bike will return a respectable 85 miles per gallon. And hey. If Andrew Dust, member of the band Fun, endorses it, then it's gotta be good. Right? 7. Kawasaki Z125 Pro, Thailand, $2,999 Kawasaki's answer to the Honda Grom, the Z125 Pro has similarly small dimensions like the Grom, 12-inch wheels and a 125cc, air-cooled single but the two bikes are actually quite different. Pegs are higher on the ka -e and tires aren't as wide, making for a motorcycle that's more eager to bend into turns. Power is also more top-heavy on the Z125 compared to the Grom. But the ka -e's price is better, and like the Honda, it shares the same quality, reliability, resale value, and dealer support. If you're looking to graduate to other members of the Kawasaki Ninja family, the Z125 Pro is a good place to start. 6. Cleveland Cycle Works Ace Standard, China, $2,895 It's hard to believe, but it's already been nearly five years since we last rode anything from Cleveland Cycle Works, the heist and the misfit, to be specific, and we're happy to say the company is still around. There are even new models, including this, the Ace Standard. With a modest $2,895 price tag, what you get in return is a 229.5cc, air-cooled single paired to a 5-speed box. It's the same single powering both of the previous 2cc W models we've ridden, 
which put out 11.5 horsepower and 10.5 pounds to foot of torque at the rear wheel when we ran the Misfit on the dyno. Not mind-blowing numbers by any stretch of the imagination, but CCW takes pride in the design and affordability of its bikes rather than its dyno numbers. And it's hard to argue against this ace standard looking cool. Its cafe styling has elements of Triumph Bonneville and old school Harley Sportster. To help meet the low price point, wheels are chromed steel, front fork is traditional, not inverted, and the rear brake is drum. For an extra $500, the Ace Deluxe gets you aluminum wheels and triple trees, inverted fork, twin piston brake caliper, versus single piston on the standard, and a larger brake disc. 5. Cleveland Cycle Works FXR, China, $2,695. Not quite dirt bike, not quite mountain bike. The FXR is likely Cleveland Cycle York's most provocative model as it blends the two genres into a single category. Powered by a 123.7cc single, it holds its gas in the frame, features an inverted fork, single shock, and 21-inch wheels with off-road tires. The headlight, turn indicators, brake light, and license plate bracket give it just enough to meet road legal status, but a cheaper not street legal version, the FXX, is also available for $200 less. CCW's hooligan bike of choice, the company already has a few choice accessories for the FX line, including a performance exhaust 17-inch wheels for street rubber. 4. Clink XF200, China, $2650. Three years ago the Clink XF200, and its sister model, the XP200 with dual sport tires, took top honors on this list with its sub $3,000 price tag. Powered by a 199cc air-cooled single, claimed to put out 15 horses, the XF impressed Mo Alum Pete Brissett during his time with it, although admittedly his bar wasn't set very high. Nonetheless, the clink does feature dimensions more similar to other full-size motorcycles, so if you feel the Grom-type play bikes are too small for you, then the XF could be a viable option. 3. CSC TT 250, China, $2,195 Here's yet another dual sport motorcycle from China, this time the CSC TT 250. We've had relatively good experiences with CSC products in the past having tested both the RX3 Adventure Bike and RC3 Sport Bike, but we have yet to ride the TT250, CSC's least expensive offering. Featuring a counterbalanced, carbureted, air-cooled 229.5cc single and 5-speed transmission, the TT250 is by no means a speed demon. However, it does get a new digital speedometer for 2017 so you can keep track of the modest speeds its claim 16 horsepower and 13.5 pounds to foot will get you. An 18-inch rear and 21-inch front are fitted with knobby-ish tires, ready for some light-grade off-roading. Like the clink in the previous spot, if a full-size motorcycle appeals to you more than the mini bikes like the Z125, and bottom dollar is key, then the TT250 is also worth a look. And unlike other bikes on this list, which may have questionable after-sale support, CSC has an office space and warehouse in Southern California, ready and eager to send parts and offer servicing advice if you need it. 2. Kimco K-Pipe 125, China, $1,999 Now we're playing in super inexpensive territory, where less than $2,000 will get you a new motorcycle. In this case, the Kimco K-Pipe 125. For those especially on the cheap looking for a bike with something resembling big bike dimensions, the K-Pipe is it. Its 17-inch wheels give it a taller seat height than others in its category with 12-inch wheels, but we were let down by the K-Pipe's anemic 125cc air-cooled single. Weak even for its class. The meager 7 horsepower and 5 pounds to foot it puts down to the ground are less than awe-inspiring. That said, 
its semi-automatic transmission will keep the engine running while in gear even at a stop, making the clutch seemingly trivial. Experienced riders might scratch their heads at this, but new riders could find this a huge benefit. 1. SSR Rascal, China, $1,999 Sharing the top spot on this list for cheapest street-legal motorcycle of 2017 with the Kimco K-Pipe is the SSR Rascal 125, though we put it at the numero uno position because we genuinely enjoyed riding it. For $2,000 you can get a fun and attractive 125cc play bike with a dollar left over. Pay no attention to the fact I'm wearing leathers and dragging a knee on the rascal in the photo above, the thing to take away from the rascal is that it's supremely easy to ride and not the least bit intimidating. It's also pretty stylish, too, with its many Ducati monster resemblance. Yes, its Chinese build quality means it's not as well refined and put together like the Kawasaki or Honda, but it's not half bad. Plus. For $2,000 does it really matter?